All right, so are we ready to um, call some listeners right now? Yes. <gasps> okay, so we're going to call some random people. Here we go. They, Sim is vetted. Okay. And um, they're going to tell us, they're going to ask us a problem, and we're going to attempt to give, give them advice. advice. Yeah, we're going we're gonna to call Heather in Michigan right now. She's 28. Julia Stiles. Hey, what's no. your sign? Hello? <laughs> Heather, are you there? Hi, Heather. Anna's here, and, and you know what? Uh, Julia Stiles is also here. Hello. Oh, my gosh. Hi Hello. there, Heather. I know. Isn't it great? Julia Stiles is my new best friend. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's amazing. Heather, we're, call we're calling oh you gosh. because you've been dating your boyfriend for two years, and you have concerns about yes. the living situation currently. So tell us a little bit more, yeah. and hopefully Julia and Anna will be able to help you with this. Like you said, we've been dating for about two years now. Um, and last year, I actually helped him pick out a house. Um, he bought a house last summer, um, helped him move in. Uh, I still have my own apartment, and I love spending time over there. I spend probably 50% of my time over there. Um, we have a dog together. We have a really amazing relationship, but I'm to the point where I'm kind of tired of you know, almost living out of a suitcase, splitting my time between two places. But I'm also not ready to give up my independence. And I love to have my own space and have my alone time. And so I'm just wondering if, you know, that means our relationship is doomed or if I'm just kind of blowing this whole thing out of proportion and just letting my anxiety get the best of me. But First question, um, how old is your boyfriend? We're both 27. Ooh, Saturn returns. Do you know about this? No. no. Saturn returns is an astro astrological thing where like every 27 is a big year, big year, something it? It, like yeah. every, lots of change, lots of transition. I got married my first time at 27. I mean, it's not good or bad. It's just change. No, but well, um, mm -hmm. it's big huh. moth. It's, it's, That's a huge moth. Um, hmm. All right. Okay. So, uh, so let me ask you this. What do, what do, here's my <laughs> another question. What what do you want? Uh, uh, side, Ooh, like do you great. want to? You said independence, but you also are talking about how he bought this house, not with you. <laughs> so what's your ideal? What's your ideal situation? Um, I mean, I love a relationship advice. By the way, <laughs> sorry, I just like I so love it. Anyway, I have to restrain myself. I, okay, that was my question. He's he's absolutely someone I can see myself spending my life with um but at the same time I've I've got a history of guys who have taken advantage of me and so I'm just I'm nervous it took me a long time to find my independence and I'm at the point where I'm kind of nervous about losing that um you know if, if we were to get serious and start to build a home together well, do you get the sense that he wants to build a home I do he so he's like come move in with me that's we haven't had the official like, hey, you should move in here with me. Um, but it's but it's heading in that direction, right? Yeah, yeah, it's definitely heading in that direction. Here's the danger. Also, I'm going to preface all of this by saying the the super dangerous thing about conversations like this is that we can only give advice based through our own experience, right? So I'm mm -hmm. already drawing parallels to like ex boyfriends and things like that. Dangerous. Like, don't um, you. That, yeah, just be careful with advice that you get. But um, what do you mean? Well, like what if we're giving you the best advice. <laughs> <laughs> well, okay, but but I do. You're totally right. But I I do think Julia. But I do think that we. Um, I think that. Uh, gosh. Okay. So I moved in way too quickly, several times with ex boyfriends, and. I, and you know, once you make that step, you can't move back. Mm -hmm. you, can't, you can't take a step backwards. So I kind of feel like you should sort of into your gut a little bit. With this. Yeah. But it, the, the question, but again, the question is, what do you want? Like, do you, uh, yes, absolutely. I, I'm a firm believer in when you, I guess maybe when you say independence, like having your own space, that's important. Uh, I, I, Mm. Well, it's been two years, you right? You've been him? you've been together for two years. So, don't you think you guys are at that point where you're going to take the next step? 
Right. I I mean, I guess I I don't know. <laughs> um, you know, what do you, what are you what are you afraid? You, oh, you said just, you're sick of yeah. living out of a suitcase. Yeah, that's. Um, but eventually, you want to settle down with this guy, right? Right. But, but you just don't whoa, know if. Whoa! You, pressure, we, pressure. Yeah, yeah, do you? Do. Does he ever come and hang out? Does he ever come and hang out at your place? I mean, obviously, you have an apartment. He has like a house that he owns. But still, it's sometimes little. He had a tears are fun. Does he ever come and hang out at your place? Oh yes. So what's the but problem? I guess it's. I guess it's almost his place is starting to feel a little bit more like home. But okay, okay, like total Sex and the City reference. Do you you leave your toothbrush there, right? Yeah. What else do you leave there? Um, I have a drawer of clothes and um, and like a a drawer in the bathroom for like for things. Um, but that's good. No, that I mean, listen, if they're like headed, but here's the thing though, like thinking about five years from now. Mm-hmm. Do you do you want marriage? Do you want? Do you see him as like a stable, wonderful partner? Do you see him mm-hmm. as like that person in your life that you're willing to give up a degree of independence for, so you can have a degree of security with the relationship? Mm-hmm. Or how do you feel? I think so. Um, and I guess I don't know if maybe I'm just kind of succumbing to outside pressures where, you know, it has been two years, I'm 27, you know, kind of when am I going to make that decision to settle down? Yeah. I think you should, I think you should. We have to ignore all those things. I think you should sit him down and say, I went on Anna Ferris is unqualified. (laughs) And Anna Ferris and Julia Stiles say, (laughs) I'm kidding. Obviously, (laughs) don't do that. Don't do that. That will be the end of your relationship. (laughs) But it is, I mean, I don't know. I think it is something like to hear outside advice from people that don't know you at all. The Here, wonder- I will be. I'll be completely candid, okay? Yeah. And again, like you can't. Um, hmm, no, I just had a little censorship moment where I was like, "Don't talk about your personal life." Okay, no, I think that you need to figure out what it is that you want, and obviously mm-hmm. be respectful and not n- never give any sort of like ultimatum or demand, but. Find out. Also, I don't I because I don't know what the other like what your boyfriend has been saying this whole time. Well, but, I, I, uh, but like need to find out what his ulti- what he's interested in, in 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 terms of his future. And as those conversations are so hard because no matter what you say, it sounds like an ultimatum because you're a 27 year old woman. Yeah. If it was, Good luck. If, if it was me, <laughs> if it was me, and I I was dating someone for two years and I absolutely loved her and everything has been great. And I just bought a house and I can see us heading down a certain path. It would, if I had that conversation and I, I said, listen, it's ridiculous. Why are you paying rent right now? I own a house. Why don't you just move in with me and whatever? We'll make it work since we've already been dating for two years. If I said that and then she had concerns, all of a sudden I would just see red flags all over the place. Yeah. I would be mm. freaked out. Mm. Two concerned years. About, it's yeah, two yeah. years. You're right, Finn. But are you freaked out? If he said, if he said, do you move in with me? Would you, would you be hesitant? Uh, you know, the more that we're talking about it, and if he were to come out and ask me tomorrow, like, hey, we should move in together, um, I, I think I would say, yeah. <laughs> but it still freaks you out. But it's still, I mean, still just not having my own space and like place to be by myself and have all of like my crazy girly things. Is there a way to be, is there, Anna and Julia, is there a way to move in with your boyfriend and then still have your independence as well? Is there a way to do that? Well, he bought the house, right? I mean, it's his house. I'm not bringing this just about financial stuff, but I'm saying like, like I can sort of, I'm imagining this and you can correct me if I'm wrong and this is off base, that it's his, how included in this Buying a house is a big deal. Like, how included in that process and that world do you feel? I mean, is it like a toothbrush I, and a drawer, or is it like we could make this our home? Um, I mean, I he involved me in the entire process from going and looking at houses, to like picking out a house, and like he includes me in all of the decisions. Um, you know, for appliances and decorations and things like that, he asked me for advice on. Um, so I feel like 
he is involving me in the process of making that our home. <gasps> Other question. Yeah. <laughs> um, does he know that you're calling into us? Does he know he doesn't you're... know. <laughs> does he know that, does he have any sense that you have like, you're thinking about this sort of stuff? Yes. Oh, he does. Oh, good. Well, that's good. Good question. Yeah. That's important. That's really important. Because sometimes you never know. Like sometimes you have these internal conversations with yourself and haven't vocalized them and we sort of expect our minds to be read. And meanwhile, yeah. homeboy has no clue. So, okay. So he's got a sense. I mean, I gotta say, I'm a little bit worried. Why? Because I feel like, um, because he hasn't invited her to explicitly to live with him, right? Maybe like, he's afraid of, of being turned down. Well, do you I, live also, also you live in Michigan, I, correct? I think that men are, are like that. Is that what you said, Michigan? Yeah. Um, yeah. I'm worried she are, needs to protect her Do you her heart. feel like he's the kind of person that, like, d does he, does he, w would he want to be married before he lived with his girlfriend? Or, like, people in different cities operate in different ways. There are different norms. Yeah. So or would he want to be engaged, or would he want to be engaged first, yeah. maybe? No, no, and neither of us, like, we, neither of us feel that way. Um, and we're both, I mean, we're both the type of people, like, things are going really well right now. Um. You know, we're both extremely happy, and so, um, well, you know, and neither of us are really in a rush to get married either. Well, that's good. That's good. That's this is all. This is all really positive. I think that, you know, it sounds to me like you guys should just sort of continue down the road. Don't feel any societal pressure to get married, to move in together. Resist, resist, like all the stuff that your moms and aunties and everybody else from an older generation are saying to you and continue down this road when you hit the 30 year old mark then maybe reevaluate things but mm -hmm. i think right now it sounds like things are really good um so keep things the way they are right I, now I until he so. brings it up because he did yeah. mention and and heather when you and i spoke on the phone you did say that you know he wants you there all the time Right. Well, he this does. Is, yeah. What What is the impetus? What Why was the reason that you felt you were felt compelled to like seek advice? So what What is the What is that thing that makes you question what's going on right now? What was What was oh, that? Sorry, well, she, so <laughs> I missed she, the middle so part. So Heather <laughs> wants to make sure that she has her independence and stuff. Hmm. I'm also. But you do right. But you. But you. But you do. I mean, like, what? Well, I guess right my question, now, but... it's long and like short of it, is what is the problem well, that made you seek advice? Like, you could. Just... Yeah, sorry. Go ahead. <laughs> well, I my I guess just my issue is is the future of you know having to give up my independence and what that means for me. But is anyone pressuring you to give up that? Like, if you, like if your if your independence is symbolized by that apartment. Is your is anyone pressuring you to give up that apartment? Is he? Uh, oh, he's no, he's not. Um, but I mean, I definitely have like friends and family, you know, constantly dropping those hints, like, "Hey, you guys is, have been together for a while." <laughs> when, is it a financial burden for you to keep your apartment? No. Then I would say, keep keep this in keep the situation just as it is. Just as it is. And okay. keep your apartment for like the next ten months, and mm -hmm. and then you can reevaluate from there. That's my mm -hmm. that's my practical advice. Mm -hmm. Because your boyfriend sounds awesome, and but but I don't want you to feel like you're being pressured into a situation that mm -hmm. you don't that you don't want. And also, you why it like when I was twenty seven, man. If I had, oh boy, if I had listened to Anna Ferris, I would have saved myself a lot of pain. <laughs> um, Heather, thank you so yeah. much for calling in. So basically I the advice right it, now is to stay just, the course. Yes, yeah, stay the course. All right. And will you let us know? I, I really appreciate it. It's, um, I, you oh, know, having outside unbiased advice has really helped me kind of think things through more clearly and not just 
focus on my anxieties and like advice oh. that I'm getting from my friends and family. So thanks, and and also really like, I, I, I you you raised a really thoughtful question in terms of like independence. Like, are you losing something? And I think that that question in and of itself means that you need to stay put for a minute at your apartment. Mm -hmm. At least as long, mm -hmm. long enough to figure out what it is that you want aside from outside of this. Yeah. 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 Okay. We love you, Heather. Thank you, Heather. Thank you guys so much. I so appreciate it. Good night, Heather. All right. Good night. Thanks. Hello. Hi, Giovanni. <laughs> oh, yeah. Giovanni. Oh, uh, hi. Giovanni, we have Julia Stiles here with us, and Anna's here, of course, too. Hello. Uh, hi. Hi, Giovanni. Where are you? Oh my gosh! Hi. Um, I I am. Um, wait, wait, like, like. You're in Texas. He, yeah, yeah, he's in, yes. he's in Texas. Can and I, can I already yeah. tell you, Giovanni, that I love you? Oh, oh. I just get like a sense from your voice. I love you. Giovanni is great, by the way. Yeah, we we like had, we had a we, Giovanni. You and I had a really nice conversation on on uh, on Saturday or Sunday or whatever it was. Sim's trying to stop our love affair, Giovanni. No, I think you're going to love him more. I think you really are going to love him because I fell in love with him. I think he's amazing. He's only 19 years old, and he's already just it's it's so mature what's happening with him. Um, so Giovanni, you've been dating your boyfriend for almost a year and a half right now, and tell uh, yeah, us yeah. tell us why you're worried about introducing him to your family. Okay, so, um, my family uh, right now is in denial um, of me being gay. Um, I'm basically, sorry. Uh, I'm, I'm just going to try and make this, I guess, a short story. In high school, my sophomore year, my stepmother outed me to my father. She um, went through my backpack, found a journal that my current boyfriend and I had, and showed it to my father. The next day I wake up, I walk into the living room, and the journal's just there on the coffee table. Oh, God. So, so awkward. Sorry. So awkward. Oh, I was worried. That is traumatized. My heart was of course. And my dad just the entire time just looked at me with this, oh. with this stare, with this look that just, he was so. Disgusted. Oh, Giovanni. Oh. And I. And he asked me, like, what is this? And I told him, well, there's nothing I can say. I mean, it's, everything's in there. He's, he's seen it already. You said so that. That's brave he, of you to say that. So, so he um, blew so, up and he tried to get me to therapy, thinking that was going to cure me. Did you me. say he threw up? Um, or he grew up? Uh, he, he blew up. He blew, oh, he up. blew up. I'm like, sorry. Yeah, and he, uh, he put, tried to put me in therapy thinking it was going to fix me, but the therapist actually helped me get comfortable with myself, my sexuality, and um, figure out uh, where where to pick up pieces and just be myself again because after that year, I I was just very depressed. Um, I, I would barely speak to people. Um, my dad made it miserable for me. Um, but it was eating him also because I would not talk to him uh, purposefully because I knew that it would hurt. So that year, it was just a terrible year. Um, and so after that year, basically everything was swept under the, under the rug, never talked about again. Um, and so ever since then, they just I just thought it was just a phase or whatever. Um, but that wasn't, that wasn't the case. And now I am uh, in college. Um, I graduated uh, two years ago. Um, I am on my own. Um, I have my own studio apartment with a roommate. Um, I work. I pay my own bills. My dad doesn't support me. Um, not that because he doesn't want to, but because he, he can't. And I, I refuse to accept money from him. But um, if he ever does give him money, it's only like $70 or so once every like three months or so. But Basically, I'm, I'm on my own. I'm very proud of that. Um, that is and, amazing. Well, you should be. Yeah. And I will be moving uh, to College Station um, here in Texas uh, by July, late July, um, to go be up uh, with my boyfriend. Um, 
and uh, I'm going to be uh, attending uh, school. Banana College Station is going to be in Houston, which is like an hour away, um, and uh, going to be just going to be continuing my life. And I just feel like it's time uh, to come out again, um, but this time on my terms. And um, I just I, I'm I'm kind of conflicted of whether I should inter- uh, introduce my boyfriend when I come out to them again, or if I should just leave my boyfriend out of it um, until um, they come around with the idea of me being gay and just like um, I'm not asking for their blessing. I'm not asking for their approval. Um, I just want to ask for their acceptance. Well, and I bet that you want to be a part of their lives and you want your boyfriend to be a part of their lives. Like you want to have a normal, like when they have a 4th of July barbecue, you want to be able to bring your boyfriend and yes, have would like a normal that. time. And that would be, that would be, that would be the ideal, um, uh, like, uh, scenario for me. But the thing is, I, I know when I come out again, it's just going to, it's just going to be hell again. Oh, um, really? My, 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 Do you think that's that, coming that from year, your stepmother or from your dad or both or both parties or? It's just, um, they, I, I know they're not accepting, um, that year, my sophomore year, uh, when I was outed, it, it was, it, it really showed, showed me what kind of family I actually have. Um, they, it, they're not, I know it's kind of bad to say, but my family is very hypocritical. Um, yeah. They were always, they were always, they always told me, no matter what, we will always love you. We'll always be here for you, no matter what. Just, just I, my dad has told me on like every single time, uh, whenever I talk to him about school or whatever, he's like, son, I'm really proud of you because you are where I wish I could have been when I was your age. I didn't have the opportunity to go to college, to move out and be on my own like you are. Like he's told, he like, I, I know he's proud of me. I know he wants me to be happy. Um, so I, I just, I just find it very hard to believe that he, he's not going to accept me just because of my sexuality. No matter, I, I've basically been the golden child. I have uh, two other siblings. I have an, a younger sister and then a younger brother. Um, and my younger sister has is the rebel, and then um well, my younger brother um unfortunately is not with us um he he is actually with my stepmother uh, he's my half brother he's with my stepmother um my dad and my stepmother had gone divorced um uh, after i guess that year or so um and uh, but i i've I've always been the good one I've always been the one who got good grades. Um, and I am his oldest son, so I, I can see w- why he would be disappointed because no, his but that hasn't son... changed. No, no, no. That hasn't yeah. changed no. because you have a boyfriend, <clears throat> right? Yes. Exactly. Okay, so, so here's here's your personal challenge. Here's what you have to do. You have to, um, in the best of ways, rise above your, you know, your dad's prejudice and you have to continue to be kind you have to continue to be open you have to continue to let him be a part of your life you have to continue like force yourself on him in a way that's like dad i love you i love you thank you for accepting this thank you like even though your dad (laughs) maybe has not deserved doesn't deserve thanks yet I'm telling you, if you are the bigger person, it will make him be the bigger person. And I really think that um, how can how can he refuse that? And if if he does, then you've done all you can do. But I do think you have to do that for like a solid year. It sucks. Should he should he come? He wants to know if he should come out first or introduce the boyfriend and come out the same time. I think I don't think you need to make any big proclamation. I think it's just like, here's my boyfriend. If there's like a, like, I don't think you have to make a big one, another statement and they know. And I don't think that 
like it, it may be viewed as an act of aggression if you make like a big thing like we need to sit down and talk about it just just i think like the simple statement of like i love you guys you raised me to be a really confident happy person i hope you're proud of me i love you guys so much here's my boyfriend i'd like to introduce you to david or whomever you know i don't think it has to be anything dramatic because you know a lot of people don't deal well with drama i do i deal wonderfully with drama <laughs> but you don't want to bring you don't want to bring the, the boyfriend situation right? that's true you that's true not, you yeah know, you don't want to threaten his like yeah but but but, but i don't think that yeah you have to come out again necessarily at all i just think you need to reassure them that you are happy healthy smart you're making great decisions and you're going to make them proud but he has to come out again because they felt like that you think that that that, that it was swept is, under the rug so he really they, so they he, re so he really does have to come out again he really does have and, yeah, he, and he, yeah. yeah is yeah, there he, an is there is there again. It's... sorry is there i have two two questions one w did you get the sense that your parents your father and your stepmother were open-minded in general about homosexuality or and and that it would or 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 they did they always sort of have this kind of like well my stepmother the thing is with my stepmother um after that year she knew she knows about me um she for the most part is very accepting of me oh um, good and uh well well, she's no longer my stepmother anymore, but um, she was a part of my life for a very long while, and I do consider her as a mother. Um, and uh, my dad, um, I, the thing is, I, I don't want my father to blame my boyfriend for the way I am. I don't want him, I don't want yeah, my boyfriend that would be an easy target, to feel bad. Is there and, is there and, like and an know, is there an event like a a gathering or something that's gonna happen soon? That... What about a, a handwritten letter? I think I think written I think letters mm -hmm. are always a, good Hand, thing. a handwritten letter. Of like, Dad, I want to tell you how much I love you and admire you. I'm also I'm, I'm I want you to know that I'm gay, and I love my partner. I hope you're proud of me. Is there a, a a possibility of owning your life and saying this? I'm really excited for you to meet this person that I'm in love with. As though you're not asking a question. You're not asking, "Is it okay with you?" You're just this is my life uh -huh. now. Does that oh, make wow. sense, or is that I, totally off base? That that makes that that makes that makes sense. I've n I've never because you're 19, right? You're 19. Yes, I, I'm 19. Um, uh, I. I've You're in this. Part. Oh, it's such a tricky. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but it's such a tricky age, and it will be for the next probably decade, um, where you're like, uh, on you're forming your adult life, and you're gonna be constantly battling. He's so mature. No, I'm really not. That's no, he is. Little, oh, we, oh, oh, sorry. oh, you are sorry, not. I I'm no. not. But, but, um, but like you're gonna be in this constant battle with your parents of like forming your identity as an adult, and so you kind of have to think more of like this is. The, you've given me the tools, mom and dad, uh, to live my life, and this is the life that I'm carving out for myself. Instead of asking, "Is this the life that I can carve?" You know. Uh huh. Um, I. I kind of I'm I'm hoping that my uh, my family doesn't take this as a huge shocker, like they did the first time around. Um, because because of that year, I, I'm pretty sure most of my family know and be, be in the back of their minds, like, it's bound to happen. I'm, I'm, I'm bound to come around with a special someone. And I, I just hope that most of my family would be more accepting, or is going to be more accepting. Um, because whenever I do go visit my family, they are always making jokes like, oh, make sure you don't marry a woman like this, or you shouldn't marry a woman like that. And, my grandmother has made so many jokes like that to me. It's it's. Should be and like I, grandma. Don't always, worry, I'm I, gonna marry a man. <laughs> Sorry, I have to. I, I'm I really, I do fun, really feel for you, honestly. Before, like, I respond before, like, don't worry, I'm not going to marry a woman. 
And like, that's how it Why can't you do that, and, though? And, I don't mean to be so naive, because I'm sure it is a really, really difficult situation that you're in, and I understand the sensitivity, but why can't you lighten it up a little bit? And You know, um, I don't know. I, could you make a joke like that? And just... I don't, I don't think he can. I mean, the conversation I had with, with Giovanni, I just think that his dad would really not he's just not going to be okay yeah i've heard I, my, this my, is not also my, that you're not alone this is obviously a lot do you have any gay friends who have experienced coming out oh my gosh i have i have my friends i have okay i have i have, I have a couple of gay friends um and okay well the thing is in I'm, high school i had a I, my boyfriend i brought him around to a barbecue um, to my to my house uh, where my, my family was gathering and everything, and I was introducing him as my friend. But since that day, I guess they they knew something was off with with my friend. Um, they after he after he left and everything, they um, a couple of my cousins came up to me like, "Is he gay? Is he gay?" And I'm like, "Um, yeah, he is." And um, my my, my father had heard, and he told me he didn't want me hanging out with someone like that, that, um, oh, that God, people are going to so be sorry. talking about me. They're going to be making the same oh, assumptions God. about me. And um, so that ever since then, I, I, I haven't talked about being in any kind of relationship. I've never mentioned another person in my life. Um, they, they've asked and everything, but your dad I've, I've has to know, said, like, your dad has to know if you haven't I, brought a girl around, your dad has to know you, as you say, they swept it under the rug and he's there in sort of denial, but that's mm -hmm. been, how many years ago was that? Cause maybe they, I mean, in a, in an ideal world, they would come around and adjust and accept it and eventually come to love you. And I've, I have gay friends who, when they, uh, it's not uncommon that you come out to your parents, they reject it initially because whatever for whatever reason. And then I have, I have a very good, gay, one of my best friends is gay and he's been with his partner for eight years or something. And they all celebrate family holidays together and they go on vacation together. And maybe it just takes time. Maybe it just takes time. Is this one of those situations where you just kind of like, like rip the bandaid off? And yeah. Yeah. It is. That, that, yeah. That's how, that's how I feel like it should be. I, feel, I just feel, I don't want my, uh, my boyfriend, I, I, I was kind of thinking about it today, actually, and I was thinking, like, maybe I should introduce my boyfriend later. Like, I think what I need to do with my father right now is sit down with him somewhere public so that he doesn't make a scene or... or it's because I, I, really, I really do fear for me if, if I were to be alone with him and I were to come out to him. Don't, don't do it in a public place, Giovanni. Wait, wait. Why? I don't think so. I don't Why? think that's... Because what I, if he does? Well, what I'm if he? In, yeah. Because he he means like. Well, I mean, I'm, I, I, I'm, I'm not I'm not thinking of like I was thinking of like a restaurant or something. I was thinking okay. more of like maybe um at, at at like a at like a park or somewhere um somewhere where only me and him will be together, but okay. it's not just me and him in like a very in an enclosed space, just me and him. Yeah. Um, because why? I, I what are you to, worried? What are you worried that he's gonna get that? He's gonna get it from him. Oh. Am yeah, I right, it's, it's, Giovanni? It's, Sorry. I don't mean to put words in your mouth, but I think you're right. I, I mean, am I right? Are you worried about your dad being Well, you can violent? also be, like, verbally violent. But... Right. And and I, I know my dad is very homophobic. Um, I've, I've mentioned, okay, well, for instance, I had a conversation with him about Bruce Jenner becoming, to, becoming Caitlyn Jenner. And I asked him what he thought about that. And he was very narrow-minded about it. He said that, well, he just wants the attention. He's just doing the surgery and all that just for the money, for the fame. And I told him, okay, th that really doesn't make any sense because why would someone put themselves in a position like that to go through all the healing, all the process, the, the therapy that they need in order to transition and just for attention, and he wouldn't give me an answer. Like okay, a clear but answer. see that all conversation. He say, all he would say. He, he he wouldn't give me a a really good answer as to why. All he would say is, is, well, people like that, people who are homosexuals, who are 
transsexuals, bisexuals, they only want attention. That's all they want. And they're just sick is basically what's wrong with them. So they need help. And I, I just, I, I just, I don't understand why he would, he would say something like that if he knows, he knows in the back of his mind that my son may be gay. But why, see that why, conversation. Why, why doesn't that sorry, I'm so interrupting. Why? Because I have so many things I want to say. But yeah. but 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 you were just about to say. Be, why doesn't he? And finish that sentence. Well, why doesn't he want to try and be open-minded about about things like this? It it just seems like he wants to hold on to that 13-year-old boy that would just go to school get home, do what he was supposed to do, do what he's told to do, be a good boy, just do what he wants me to do. Like, he, he, it seems like he doesn't want me to, he, he feels, it, it almost seems like he, he thinks that I'm going to be someone fully different, um, that I'm not going to be the same person. Oh. And, and I just, I just oh, don't. I, this is where I truly am unqualified. But, I do think that Giovanni, you sound like an amazing person, and I, I, I only want like the best for you and your love, and I want you to trust your gut because I really like I'm in over my head with, with this. I I, I wish I could tell you exactly what to do. I but, think, but I have I, no idea. What I think to do. he I think he needs to prepare himself for. The fact that maybe his dad will never be accepting, and that he needs to make that choice and be yeah. understand and or, understand that. Okay, step. Wait, step by step. Yeah. Step by step. You had Giovanni. You had this conversation with your father about Bruce Jenner, and you both were sending uh -huh. each other messages. You were talking about an abstract. I mean, you know, I, a, a sort of an abstract person or a, a, a distant person, in a way to d confront this issue, without really confronting it personally, right? You were t so you were talking about abstractions. And I feel like if you can build up the, it sounds like you really want to, um, the, the confidence to just confront it head on, I think you should. However, what your dad said about Bruce Jenner, oh, those, quote, I'm quoting, those kinds of people just want attention, is what he was essentially saying about his, what he thinks about you. And and so what, just keep that in mind because I think it sounds to me like there's a dynamic that's been created where you guys are both sort of stuck. You, you are you talking about your personal feelings and, and your preference. Um, he's taking as a sign of aggression or a sign of rebellion or a sign of he's taking it personally. And so if there's any way to reframe that, um, like focusing on the positive or um, – how happy you are with your boyfriend or um, again, not asking him to say, okay, but just telling him that this is your life. I don't know. I'm not a therapist, but I, I just, I, I feel like, um, I don't know. It's tricky, but you know, in any context at 19 and probably for the next few years, you're going to be carving out your own identity. And it's just in a more right now for you, it's a more exaggerated way because it's such a hot button issue, you know? But hmm. no, Giovanni, tricky. You sound like you're an awesome person. I feel like he's so mature. I, I feel like he I has a great head on his shoulders. Will you please think about moving to Los Angeles? No, no, he really, he really is. I, you know what? I'm really impressed by you, man. I really I am. And and what you're doing is is incredible. And I think that you are definitely on the right track. And it I feel like you. It does. And sort of it like so what you strength. said about being the bigger person. I feel like. Um, Obviously, not knowing any of your family, but um, if you, if you, if what they are saying, like they want you to be happy and they're proud of you, is true, and let's take it to be true. If you are really happy in your life and with your romance, and love is like the most important thing, I think. Um, hopefully, they'll come around to seeing that. You know, it'll take time. It, it'll it will for it, sure. It take will time. take time, but I mean, you know what? Your dad loves you. He wants you to be happy. He does. He wants you to be happy. He will come around to the fact that you are happy being you. 
he will have to. He will have to because he loves you so much. You just have to. You just have to remember it will take time. It's going to be trying, it, but it will take time. And by the way, your partner probably is dealing with similar things too, right? Am I wrong? I'm sorry. Your partner, your boyfriend, is oh, probably dealing with question. similar things, right? I mean, it's yeah. not like unless he's from a family that's, you know, um, I, well, I, he has come out to his family, and um, I'm pretty sure. Like, well, his family wasn't very accepting um, to him either. Um, but they've, I guess, gotten used to the idea of him, um, being gay. Um, and his mother knows about me, um, and probably knows we're in a relationship. Um, they've never really talked about us. Um, but he, we, we know that she knows, um, his mm -hmm. father um, is the one who is, is, um, very, uh, angry, I guess, about it. Uh, I'm, I'm not too sure, um, because. I haven't really asked him so much about it. I just know that um, his family wasn't very accepting at first uh, when he came out. Um, he uh, he's actually like six years older than I am. Um, he is uh, going to be turning 27 this year, and I'm actually turning 20 this month on the 27th. Oh, happy uh, birthday! Oh, what are you gonna do for your birthday? Like, are you gonna have a uh, birthday party I, that maybe your your boyfriend and your dad can go to? Uh, no. no I actually. say throw all the shit in the pot. <laughs> I say throw it. Just have a throw party. all the gasoline on the fire. <laughs> Do it. Get it out of the way. Um, but you have to though. No. You have you have. I mean, yes, the birthday party is, is probably not gonna happen. But you have to just seriously, like I said earlier, just rip the bandaid off. That's how I feel. I you know. need you need to have this conversation with them. Had to do this. I know. Yeah, but, it, it's it's gonna but, suck. It's going to suck. But he I has guess, to do it. Yeah, yeah I, 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 guess. I know that it's going to suck. I know it's going to be a very uh, bumpy and, and but, tough road. But, but I mean, I, think I know a handwritten I, I know letter. The time has been coming. Do, are you are you against going. Giovanni? Are you against writing a letter to your dad? Or would you rather writing do it in person? Letter, I just feel, I feel like, like that way. I say, I have it. I have it. I oh, say, Julia, I Julia have has it. Julia has it. Julia has it. I say, I say, plan a birthday party, dinner, whatever. Um, invite your, invite your partner, let your partner know that this is what you're doing. And before uh, that, give your, write something to your dad or have a telephone call with him, something, and just say, if you can frame it this way, I really, I'm in love. I'm, would, it would mean so much to me for you to be able to meet the person that I'm in love with. And that's the start. I don't know where it goes from there, but I just, yeah. I, without, without, start, without, without, like reframe it from this is a problem. This isn't a problem. You're in love. It's great. Right. And just, I, I think you should go, go for it from a stance of you're very happy and this is what you're doing. And, and once he sees that uh -huh. you're happy, he'll follow suit. And eventually. maybe include your dad too. Like you want, you do want your dad of to course. love you and support you and Definitely. all that stuff so that he feels, he doesn't feel like this is a, this is a rebellion against him or like mm -hmm. an acting, acting out against him. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, uh, I, and I've never really thought about it going going like that direction. So that that's really actually I like that um, a lot. Actually, Julia, really, I really like, do like that a lot. Up my mind to, to maybe that possibility, and it, it sounds like a, a sounds a, it sounds a little bit easier uh, to go to go that way. Maybe if I maybe if he does see that I that I am happy, if I say yes. that I'm happy this way, you'll he'll it, it'll be maybe a little bit easier for him to come around. I, th I think so too. And Giovanni, like we have to go right now, but I just want you to know yeah, that, please. that, that, yes. So Siri, we, you have, you have hundreds of thousands of friends right now who are listening to this. I know. And, and you, you're and making you, an impact on a lot of people. You really are. And just know that we're all behind you. All of us. So you have friends here. Okay. Yeah. You're not alone. You're not alone. Yeah. Will you please like let us know how everything goes? Cause truly like we get a lot of feedback about, you know, callers that touch other people and whatever, and 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 it means a lot when you know if you keep in touch, we would love that. Keep in touch with us. I I things are going to work out, and I I really do agree with everything that Julia and Anna have said. And you're going to be fine. Just hang in there. You're going to be fine. You're going to be oh, more gosh, than fine. Thanks. You're going to oh. be amazing. Yes, you are. You're going to be okay. and happy birthday of the United States. Happy birthday. Oh, America. Oh I hope God. it's a, I hope it's a wonderful oh, day and that it's like full of celebration and love and well, we love you, man.
We love you. Giovanni, we love you. Happy birthday. (laughs) Happy, 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 happy birthday. And you know what? Tim is totally right. It's going to be okay. Things are going to be okay. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's just like a matter of a little bit of a digestion for the older generation, but they're going to do it. Yes, exactly. And then if they don't, they die. (laughs) So not, not that your parents, you know, but you know what I'm saying. Kind of or no. All right. We got I, it. Okay. I, I really appreciate I really appreciate. Thank you so much, Giovanni. Oh stay in touch. We'll calling. we'll stay in touch with you too. We love you so much. Oh my gosh. I, I will I will I will I'll let you all know. Um I love you, Anna. Oh my gosh. I love you too. I love you too and thank you so oh much for gosh. calling and thank you for being so strong. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you are for you're doing my, amazing. My and, oh my gosh. And you giving really me advice. Are. I never thought this would happen once again. No. Oh. Okay. All right, buddy. We'll talk to you soon. All right. Thanks, Good night. Guys. Good night, Good night, night, guys. I love him. I love him. Yes, I know. I knew you would. He's amazing. I I resent that you presume <laughs> that I would love him, but I do love him. Why am I getting, why am I getting like a little aggro towards you? I don't know. It brings out like, I think you bring out like the big brother little sister relationship. I know, dynamic. I know, I know. It's fine. I'm okay with that. Yeah, clearly. <laughs> Maybe that's why. Because you're like okay. What do you guys want to do? Do you want to do one more call? Sure. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Are you sure? I have to yeah. urinate. Let's well let, why don't we urinate? No, I have to pee right now. Okay, well we'll urinate. That's we'll like, urinate now. Yeah, we'll take yeah. a little we'll take a little break. And then, and then we'll, we'll, we'll do one more, one more call, call and then we'll wrap it up. Okay. 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 Sorry, I couldn't I I, are we... I don't know. I, I do. I do, I do. All right. So should we call one more person? Yes, please. Let's do it. We're going to call Emily, and oh, she is in I want to give it New York. To cut to, cut to, four o'clock in the morning. <laughs> We're all like, oh. tell us some more about your life. <laughs> I hope she picks up, because it's late in New York right now. She's 26. Oh. Mm-hmm. Good age to be in New York, right? It's a perfect oh. age. Yeah. I'm so jealous. She probably has, like, right. Hello. Hello. Hi. Emily. Hi. Emily, it's Anna Ferris and Sim Sarna. And guess what? Our special guest, Julia Styles. Oh, yeah? Julia Styles. She's here. Hello. Who is it? Julia, Julia Styles. Styles. I was featured in such hit movies as <laughs> 10 Things the, I Hate About You. 10 Things I Hate About You, Save the Last Dance, and The Born Ultimatum. <laughs> You're probably too young oh, my for goodness. all that. <laughs> She's awesome. She's Hi, here. everybody. She's stunning. And thank you for staying up for us. Hey, Emily, oh, we don't have we don't have that much time, and I and I feel awful because I I really we want to spend a lot of time with you, but I wanted to I That's really totally wanted to okay. get you in tonight. Um, but you you know you need your boyfriend to stand up for you, and he I doesn't. Do. He doesn't stand up for you, and like just give us tell us why tell us what's going on right now, quickly. Well, we're in yeah yeah quickly we we're we're in kind of a tough uh, living situation with uh, my roommate. And the boyfriend, and we're we're moving, we're getting out of it. But like, I had a very dark altercation with her boyfriend, where um, a lot of like Ooh. really terrible things were said. And my boyfriend wasn't here, but kind of in the aftermath of that, he's been really like polite to him and really really buddy buddy with him. And it hurts my feelings. And I told him that but he still kind of does it. And I think he just doesn't really understand. Let me, let me why. Emily, let me let me stop you for a second. I just want to like kind of paint yeah. the picture for Julia and Anna here real quick. So um, she so she lives with her with her roommate and her boyfriend. But then what happened was um, her roommate, her female roommate, invited her boyfriend to live with them as well in the same apartment in New York. So now it's two couples living in the same apartment. But Emily's roommate did not tell her that her boyfriend was going to move in. So it was a complete surprise. And all of a sudden there's four of them now living together. And then it, it, it caused some contention. Of course it did. And, uh, yeah, and now and now Emily is is moving out with her boyfriend, um, but but it, it, but she feels like with everything that's been happening, uh, you know, when there's there's been a lot of awkwardness. There's been, there's been a bunch of fights. Correct me if I'm wrong, Emily. But you feel Wait, like your no, boy your boyfriend has not stood up for you. In fact, he's been kind of just 
been really nice to your roommate's um, boyfriend as well and your roommate, and you just feel like that's just not cool. And kind yeah. of putting you, the yeah. onus is on you now to, to, to deal with it all? Sorry, what? The onus is on you to deal with it all? Sorry. Yeah, kind of. And and just that I'm, that I'm kind of the bad guy in the apartment who's like the mean one who has all the hurt feelings about it. I feel like by myself about it. Have you expressed this to your roommate? Yes, we've had multiple fights about it. Well, okay, so and let's think about this, though. Because I wonder if it's are there other issues? If everyone else seems to be able to kind of let the whole thing go, then is there something else that's deeper in your relationship that? I mean, maybe we, we've we've kind of like been through a lot in our relationship. We've been together kind of on and off for three years. We were long distance for a long time, and we really, I mean. We work really hard on our relationship because we've been through all that. So it doesn't, it doesn't feel like it's deeper than that. I think you just kind of were different people in that way. You know, like I'm, I'm a very kind of emotional, emotionally driven person and he's a very logically driven person. So maybe just, that's it, mm, but I, it still like hurts my feelings. I just kind of wonder why, yeah. like, do you want the dude to be like, absolutely. Swinging, like, swinging of course. the club out of the cave and be like, definitely a woman alone. Sorry, I know that's really like old fashioned. No, no, but no. I'm with you. I'm with you. Kind of true on a primal level. He needs he needs to be there for you 100. percent He needs to completely defend you. He needs to just you know what you you're first. You guys are for your relationship is first, and and yeah. and what he's doing is not cool. And there's there has to be a way for you to communicate that to him. And uh, Julia Anna, is there a way that she can help? Like what what does she need to say to him? Mm, golly, I don't I don't know. I, I don't know because Me I, don't, I, I, I don't know. I'm at a loss. Well, she's That's obviously. Thing, yeah, because you can't say it. like. That she just. That she just. Al- she's already expressed herself to, you know, her mm-hmm. boyfriend said like, you know, this hurts my feelings. If you, you, when you're not defending me, and he's like, I don't even know, dude, what the fuck you're talking about, because. I don't even know he strikes. You know he what? strikes okay. you the non-confrontational the guy. The, you, you guys are moving out, right? So, so that's yeah. Over. We are. We're but yeah. maybe there's something. This else but this else might be a deeper. On. Like yeah, he's like you know. It's like if, that's what I'm saying. So mm-hmm. so that's pretty much your question right now. It's like is this this going to carry over when you guys move out? There's, there's something right. Deeper yeah. Going is on. it a problem for the future? Yeah. There's something deeper going on. Just be like, dude, I'm watching you. <laughs> no, don't do that. Don't do that at all. The next time this happens. Don't do that. But I will say, I don't know. Keep your guard up. It does. It. it, it <laughs> she writes Hallmark cards, ladies and gentlemen. Keep your guard, like, guard keep up. Your guard <laughs> keep up. your guard up. No, but Words. yeah. I mean, I don't know. I've been in relationships where uh, people have hurt my feelings like publicly, you know, and um, and it turns out it's about much like darker and deeper things and yeah and, and, like problems other problems in your relationship that are about d- different kinds of resentment levels and i understand you know there's mostly moments about employment I... sorry. Oh. <laughs> I know. sorry no 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 i'm just imagining oh and i just met them and they're like a gorgeous and they're tall but I, there are those moments where you're like you can't quite go back from them like he's not that you know he's got a Stop talking to him. No, you need right, to, yeah. You need you you just yeah, you want him to be exactly. You want him to be the caveman. You want him to be like not yeah. in the, like I can say this now because because we've been we live in a modern No, no, we live in the modern world where you're like 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 an independent woman, but you don't but you want him to stand up for you and be there 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 those primal things are there and so it's like you saw his behavior with your roommates and he's he needs to he can't that's tricky cuz he can't come to you like you he she needs to feel safe yeah. she needs she needs yeah. to feel like you know what like he's he, on he your has side. her back yeah. and she's not no feeling that what. way right now yeah maybe it'll ch- maybe also maybe it'll change once you move out and then you'll see a different side that's of it true. Yeah. So, like it, setting it the like setting a, changes everything it definitely it's, it's unacceptable i think it's unacceptable i think it's completely <laughs> unacceptable well, then it's really you really think it's unacceptable 
<laughs> but then, I mean, I'm not going to, like, I don't want to break up with him. Of course not. Because, like, he's, he's, the, he's, I don't know. This is I've got it. Go, okay, job. I've got it, I've got it, I've got it. Go out to a bar. You've got it. And yeah. start a fight with another guy and see if he will step in <laughs> yes, and there you go. punch that guy in the face for you, potentially maybe going to jail, who knows, but it doesn't matter because your love is so strong that he see, will like, sacrifice his yeah. future for you. Don't do that. <laughs> I mean, that's a great idea. It's just we've already kind of been in a situation like that, and I kind of handled it myself. Oh, oh no! Oh, no. Every guy listening to this right now, is just, they're just cringing. Like, who the, who the <laughs> hell is this guy? Why is he such a no. pussy? That's oh, what every God, guy is thinking right so now. Uh, no. <laughs> no, no. It, it, I don't know. It's like, I don't know if maybe the problem is that, you know, I need to let go of that feeling that I want. The ca- like the caveman to stand up for me, is that like my problem that I need to deal with? No. No, no. girls do that way too much, yeah. I think. <laughs> Myself included. Is it me? Is it me? Is it my problem? No, but uh, listen, does he smoke a lot of weed? Because <laughs> it's <laughs> No, he doesn't. Because I'm serious, though. If you date a wonderful man who smokes a lot of weed, they're wonderful. They're wonderful people, but they definitely tend yeah. to be passive. <laughs> which is actually that, kind of a wonderful that's gift. That's true, but he doesn't. Um, if, it were, if it were only that simple. But if, if this isn't a deal breaker for you, though, is it? I don't think so it's just we've been we don't fight a lot and this has just been like the first thing we've thought about repeatedly in a really long time and it kind of freaked me out a little bit you just but, oh yeah. but he does fight with you that's a good sign that sorry is, that, is, that, is. that weird to say <laughs> yeah, but, no but if, he, if he's not I super mean, passive if he's fighting with you and if you need to pick God, no, I was me being the I I projected onto him. That he was the passive person, right? So right. I, I we don't even know. If, right. I don't know. But he's but yeah. Well, but, they, they, so they, you guys have fights. Passive. You yeah, guys right. have fights, and he's sticking up for yeah. something. Something's coming out. I mean, I believe that if you sweep it under the rug, it'll start to stink. But if you you know if you guys are addressing it, right? So you guys fight. That's a good thing. Yeah, we've we've been fighting about it for a couple of weeks. So, do you fight about other stuff enough. besides that? Do you guys have other fights? Like, mid, like bickering kind of mm, fights. I mean, we definitely right. yeah. fight, but this is kind of like the one, like we usually resolve it. And this is like one thing that we've been fighting about repeatedly. This that is the big issue. He's not getting resolved. Okay. What is he, I, I, not to open up a can of worms, but like what is his argument? That he doesn't need to fight with the roommates well, because you guys are moving out? He, this is going to sound really terrible but he said he was like i mean i it's just kind of like we're leaving and i don't really see any need, like i don't need to be he doesn't want to rock the rude boat. to them and i was like yeah and he he said i don't need to be rude to them i'm like well you don't have to be like nice to them you know there's mm, a you difference know what, between now being I'm... like flat out rude and being like openly like really nice and like hey dude well like, he does that. have a point he does yeah, have a point. You guys are leaving. Like the water, point. you know, what's the, what's the big deal? She didn't yeah. tell you, but now you got, where are you guys moving to? Let's focus on the future. Where are you guys moving to? We don't know. We live in New York. so I grew up in New York. Movie. Where in New York do you live? We live in, we live in Queens. <laughs> where in Queens? Astoria? In, a, in Astoria. Yeah. Up, right so, up the R. So where are you moving to? Um, we're looking at a lot of places. I'm, mm, you know, that's what it comes down to in New York. It's all about real estate. Julia's <laughs> tough. Yes, I know. I love I'm it. Sorry. <laughs> um, but it's the two of you. So instead of so instead of a three or two bedroom apartment that you're sharing with somebody else, you're going into a two bedroom apartment that you guys are splitting. That's okay. You yeah, can deal or with maybe that. like a one bedroom. Yeah, a one bedroom. But you guys sleep in the same bed. It's fine. That's no big deal. Yeah. Um, I mean. Yeah, that's right. I mean, I feel like I should probably just focus on the future and like let go of this. I'm kind of, the other thing he said about it is that I'm just kind of an emotional person and he's just not always that way. Like I just like mm-hmm. if I feel something, I go with it and he doesn't always do that. So that was kind of his other argument about it. So maybe yeah. I just need to like let it go. Yeah, that's that's probably Fair. Okay, Emily, Anna's going to give you some final advice here. Okay, final yes, advice please. is this. Um, don't go with your emotions. They're probably all wrong. I don't I don't go with mine. 
And that's why I never right. cry. That's why when I have to do a crying scene on set, they have to blow a menthol stick into my <laughs> eyes for like five minutes because I'm dead inside. <laughs> so Great. my advice to you is to uh, love yourself, love each other, one and all. Uh, don't vote Trump. And, um, and you know, let's go world peace. But we love you. And will you please give us an Julia, update? give us some, give, give Emily some final advice here. I know a guy who knows a guy who knows a guy who has an apartment on the Lower East Side. And you might want to look into it. No, but I, um, if you need real estate advice, I can totally, I mean, I'm going to say don't go to Park Slope because that's not your demographic. Um, no. Maybe Upper West Side. Maybe. Yeah, where that's, do, that's kind of where we're looking. Yeah. I think downtown is oh, way more great. fun. I think downtown's way more fun, but you're going to have to be living in a closet. <laughs> this is turned literally into real estate advice. Of, this is great. Literally the size <laughs> of Anna's, Anna's we're gonna have table. To really look if we want to be downtown. Hey, Emily, this but definitely was... Cooler. Emily, this definitely was unqualified advice. Um, you know, it, I, I, I hope... You. It was really good unqualified advice. <laughs> I really appreciate it. Emily, thanks so much for hanging out with us. Thank you and, guys so and, much. Yes, let us know what happens. Yes, I will. Thank All right, you. Good night. Bye-bye. All right, let's wrap it up. Okay, Sim Sarna. Mm -hmm. Okay, rapid fire with you. Oh, my God. What's your sign? Gemini. What's your sign, Julia? Aries. What's my sign? Sag Sagittarius. Very good. Okay, we all qualified. We remember what our birthdays are. <laughs> okay. um. Hey, Mike, what's your sign? Aquarius? That's the sexiest of all. Really yeah. The water sign. And you are the <laughs> sexiest. I don't want to be so pigeonholed yeah. and defined by my sign. Oh, oh, oh. Sim is like frantically pointing towards Well, we're going to we're going to say bye to Julia right now, but we want to before we say bye to her, we have to Okay, uh before we say goodbye to her. Right here. I have to <laughs> interpret this. Oh, oh, misconduct. You can with Al Pacino. You can watch on demand. I guess on yeah. demand. Then, iTunes. Awesome. Um, or sorry, yeah, on demand. What is that? Even? Yeah, would be uh, VOD, VOD, video on okay. demand. Yep, yeah, absolutely. Um, and then uh, this action movie starring Matt Damon about a CIA agent who's uh, gone rogue, and it's a sequel to the Bourne Ultimatum. So, Bourne. Ultimatum. By the way, I I, I didn't say I love, porn. No, no you, you said Bourne, Bourne not Bourne. Bourne. Yes. not the Porn Ultimatum. Not the Porn Ultimatum. That was a very good movie. Um, <laughs> the Born Ultimatum. And that opens up and July that... 29th. Does it? I don't even know. And guess what, though? Can you tell us a little bit about your character in that? Oh, so it's uh, I'm playing the same character I played in three other versions. The prostitute, of like the hoary <laughs> prostitute <laughs> who sleeps yeah. with anybody. She's the honey trap. Um, <laughs> got I wish. Gazillion STDs. Why wasn't I cast as the honey trap? <laughs> um, no, it's the same character I played if you watched any of the first three Born Identity Born. Nobody did. Nobody, nobody, nobody watched did. them. I know. They're like, we can still try. <laughs> um, same, who's like a CIA agent that knew Jason Bourne before he uh, went crazy and Still has it. she uh, the last time the last time you saw me, Ma, I was got into trouble with him in Born Ultimatum and have been in hiding ever since. And so I resurfaced. Do you know what's uh, weird, Julia? So I didn't weird. want to tell you this, but during the renegotiation period, they offered your role to me, <gasps> and I was like, "Yeah, I could totally be easy peasy." Like. Julia's double, like, are anybody, oh, is anybody please. They really have paying attention? And, yeah, yeah, like, exactly. that, no, no. No. is he a blonde, some kind of blonde oh, hair? I was a brunette in those movies, but oh, they could have popped a wig on. Also, she's been in hiding, <laughs> she's been in hiding for eight years, so, like, you could, because they know, facial reconstruction, who knows? So I did, like, a, uh, Sim and I helped, like, Sim helped me, so right. I, like, found this old brick building, and like we did this sort of spy shoot. We worked on it for a while, actually. Yeah. Um, but then, actually, turns out they worked out the contract with you. Well, congratulations. So. Oh, my congratulations God. Thanks, again. you guys. I'm... And, you know, you see, the thing that you didn't know is they could have just CGI'd your faces onto my body, and we would have all been in the movie. That would have been amazing. Okay. All right. You tell us that now. <laughs> Julia, you've been an absolute delight. 
We it's love been you. It's so fun. I never stay. I, I never know, stay overtime. I, I can't, Just kidding I me. I love you enough. Yeah, it's so fun. And you're beautiful. And I want to like look at deep into your <laughs> beautiful brunette eyes. Um, I think that's my Uber calling. <laughs> <laughs> Follow us on Twitter and on Facebook and on Instagram and everything else. And we check me out uh, on Jason Bourne. Oh, oh, I'm sorry, you don't remember me. Oh, all right, fucker. <laughs> oh shit, I should have done it. Can we go back? <laughs> we love you. Good night. Good night. <laughs>